Alrighty, so I'm back. Uh, it's making a freight train noise on startup. Turned out that the blower was all out of whack. So, got a new wheel, new motor. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get that replaced. Should be interesting. Got the saws all out. We'll probably have to cut off the shaft because it's all, it's just all screwed up. Well, let's take some screws out. This is a carrier package unit. So we got a variable speed blower here. Um, not screwed in, of course. Oh, it comes out pretty easily. I was here yesterday, so that's why it's uh, not hooked up. Screws were already missing when I got here. Probably gonna add some today. So what had happened was some other company came out and did a service on this guy, and uh, they pulled the blower. And now it's all screwed up. Uh, this was missing the rubber gro grommet, grommet. This is what they put there so it twisted sideways and was rubbing up the side. The shaft's a little bent and this little wheel's all out of whack so we're replacing it. The little weight came out so I'm probably gonna have to disassemble this whole thing because uh, I guess whoever did the service on this couldn't get the motor off the wheel so we'll try but probably just gonna end up cutting off the shaft and being done with it that's what the sawzall is for so we'll see how it goes there's pretty much uh there's the set screws right here and it's it's in there pretty good i mean i tried to fix it as best i could but it's just wobbling like crazy so we decided to just go ahead and swap out the motor and the uh, wheel which is right there factory authorized parts so good old carrier nice little sunset we got going on good old city of uh, I think I'm in Downey honestly I hardly know where the heck I am anymore so pretty in there you can see the they try to use the blade puller and that did not work yeah that's stuck I'm not gonna bother uh, we're gonna take this bad boy apart usually you don't have the option but this one's nice so we're just gonna pull these screws out and then theoretically this whole thing will come out I always miss one side Let's see what we can do about this thing here so I think the easiest way would be just pull the belly band off considering I got to do that anyway Mm -hmm. 
Awesome. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought. I didn't even need the sawzall. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put the wheel in first. So our motor sits on top, so we want our set screw to be down. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and put this back on now. about that should do it put that there oops this rubber grommet's coming off I'll put that there and put that there flat surface okay so usually I do that but now this is a long loader so we need to take that account so I'm gonna lift it a little bit but before I lift it I'm gonna tighten it a little bit wrench to hold that side and use the drill to tighten. I don't want to tighten it too much because I still want to be able to slide it. And I also don't want it like super loose. on there we may have to adjust this but we'll see because I did just eyeball it and remember it's facing that way so get our flat side to face that and slide right in just like that put a couple bolts in here and uh, gonna check our alignment and yeah perfect coolio we'll make sure that our is lined up with our set screw get a good tighten okay give it a good crank Okay, and we're going to go ahead and tighten down our 
mounting bolts. We're gonna go ahead and put it back in there, hook it all up and see how it goes. Okay, so got some screws and we're gonna go ahead and mount this bad boy. is in there looks like I got an extra screw <laughs> I could use for something alrighty so now we got that put in there now we got to test it just make sure you don't short these out against something And our blower is working nice and quietly. All right, looks good. <laughs> 